Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my monthly update for Beauty A to Z. This is a Pantastic Ladies project that links a project panning item to a letter of the alphabet. So we started out on January 1st with 26 products in this project. This is my fifth year doing this project. I love it so much. So far, I only have one empty in this project, so I am currently working with 25 products, and I predicted last month that I would not have any new empties for today, and I was correct. I do not have any new empties for today, but there are quite a few products that I've been working on fairly consistently, and I do have some progress to talk about, so that's what I'm here to do today. I did not pull every single item out. If it's something I didn't work on in the past month, I left it in the bathroom but there's a lot here that I have been working on. For the letter A, I have my ABH Brow Wiz in Soft Brown. I've really gotten in the habit of using this every single day. It took a little bit of trial and error to get to the point where I was using it daily. I kept forgetting last month, but this month I've been on a roll and I've been using it very consistently and my progress definitely shows on my little paper. That's the progress from the first month and this is the progress from the second month so my progress line almost doubled so I'm very happy with that I'm on track to finish this by the end of the year but it is going to take all year this little itty bitty pencil is no joke and really I just use it to fill in the inner like part of my brows where it is the most sparse and then I run a brown eyeshadow through the rest of my brows so I don't use a ton and I have some pretty decent brows to begin with, but I'm happy with my progress. For the letter B, I have my Bella Rose eyeshadow from Milani. I've really been focusing in on this eyeshadow a lot over the past month. I use this as a brow bone highlight. I use it as a face highlight a lot of the time. I'm wearing it today as a face highlight and a brow bone highlight. I really like the way this looks. It is a beautiful highlighter. And um, I have made significant progress I'm well before I get ahead of myself let me show you what it looks like this is where I'm at currently not only it has the pan or the tile significantly expanded but it is really flattened out I mean it is basically flat I think I could finish this off in the next month. I think it's possible and I'm going to try. I think I'm going to focus in on this until it's gone. My bathroom counter is overflowing at this point with little things like this. It's between all the projects I'm doing. My counter is just covered in these little things. And um, as much as I like to split my time between like different highlighters I have and different projects, I need to get some things off my bathroom counter and finishing this off would be a good start along with a few other items. So I have been focusing in on this a lot more. Plus this pinky highlighter just lends itself really well to all of the purple eye looks I've been doing lately. I've been doing a lot of purple, so it works well for that too. I don't know if I could finish that off in the next month, but I am gonna try. Another product that I've made really good progress on is for the letter C. That is my CoverGirl Sheer Rubies. Again, I've had two cream blushes and I've decided to focus in on this one so that I could finish it off. And um, let me pick the hair off. There's always a hair stuck on here. My progress is showing. This is all I have left. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? That is all I have left. So I basically have been using this as a cream blush every day. That's how I made so much progress. Here's my sheet right here. I have this much marked, but a lot of that piece is the plastic. Um, so technically I think it's lower than that, but I just marked it there. Um, Still on the fence about whether or not I want to dig the product out. It does make a nice cream blush and I might just dig it out and go ahead and use it up. But for the sake of this project, I think once I hit the plastic, I'm going to count this as goal met. So I'm guessing this will be out of the project by next month. So exciting. I've been working on this for ever, forever. 
forever. All right, that was C for the letter D. For the letter D, I have my Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer. I have not touched that. For the letter E, I have my Estee Lauder Pleasures Body Wash and Body Lotion. I haven't touched that in the past month. It hasn't been used at all. For the letter F, I have my Rice Flower and Shea Collection from Bath & Body Works. For that letter, I have a body spray, two body lotions, and a body wash. I have not used the body spray, one of the body lotions, and the body wash in the past month. But I did work a lot on this, this body lotion. This is the Purely Silk Body Lotion in the Rice Flower and Shea. And I've been using this a ton over the past month. And this is my progress line. So I was here last month or at the beginning of the project. And now I'm here. I am very happy with this progress and um, I've been enjoying this very much. It's a, it's a nice scent. I forgot how much I like this scent. Obviously I liked it, I bought a ton of it. Um, but yeah, I've really, really been enjoying this scent quite a bit and I'm so happy to have so much progress. I kind of feel like I could knock this out in the next two months. I don't know. I'm very excited. Since I just covered two body washes that I have in this project and said I haven't used them, I bet a couple of you are wondering what I have been washing my body with. Let me tell you what it is. I've been washing my body with these two items right here. These are the Plant Apothecary Body Washes in Start Happy and Calm Down. I received both of these complimentary through Octoly and Plant Apothecary. So I've been testing these out over the last couple weeks to see what I think about them. The Start Happy is citrus and frankincense um, scented body wash and the Calm Down is lavender and spearmint. I shower in the morning so um, I'm never looking to calm down first thing in the morning. I'm looking to wake up. But what I can say is that I did not feel like it made a big difference one way or the other. I used both of these in the morning and actually the spearmint in this one felt kind of exhilarating. So I felt like both of these were really good for a morning time body wash. The body wash itself was really good. It suds up, it did what a body wash should do. I didn't feel like it was particularly amazing in any way, but I certainly didn't feel like it was bad in any way. I have used some really bad body washes that are just garbage. Most of them usually come from the dollar store and they are a huge disappointment. I did not feel that way at all about these. These are a good quality body wash, but again, I don't know what more I could say about it. The only complaint I do have about this product is the packaging. These are both twist off lids Oh, that are leaking all over me. So in order to use this product, I need to twist off the lid and then squeeze out the product. And I just find that to be unbelievably annoying. I want a flip top lid like Bath & Body Works does. I want to flip the lid, squeeze it out, close it. That is the kind of bottle I want from my body wash. And I find this to be infuriating to be honest it's just a little bit frustrating so i will leave the price of these products right here and i will leave information about these two products in the description box down below so that you can check it out but basically that's what i've been working on for body wash over the past month because i needed to test it out and see what i think about it Hopefully I will get back to the two body washes that are in this project soon, but at the same time I was working on a body spray that wasn't part of this project. And it just kind of worked out that these came into my life when they did because I needed to finish that body spray anyways. And it just kind of worked out that I could work on these, test them out, see what I think about them and write up a review for them as well. So that's what I've been working on. Let's get back to the project. For the letter G, I have my Avon Glimmer Sticks in Soft Wine. I have finally made some progress. This product has been at a standstill for months. Not just this year, but last year too. It's broken, so I'm gonna roll it back down right away, but that's how much product is left. Um, I only used this a few times in the past month, but every time I did use it, I filled in my entire lip and just wore it all day long like that. I really like this as a lipstick. It lasts a good amount of time on my lips. It fades evenly and kind of softly, and it's just a pretty shade. So I really like just using this as an all over lip color. And here is 
my progress line right there. So I went from right there to right there. I know it's hard to see. Get your bifocals out so you can see it. But yeah, a little bit of progress and I'm really happy about it because I have been working on this. For the letter H, I have my Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation from Benefit. And I have progress on this too. This is currently my everyday go-to foundation. I was working on some concealers for the first month of the year and I was using those as foundations. But since those have been finished, this has been my go-to for foundation. It is a really good match for me right now. I'm wearing it today and I just have been really enjoying it. Here is my progress line. I started down here and now I'm up here. I do feel like that's pretty good progress for like a month time. A month maybe a month and a week but I'm really happy with that progress I like that I already finished the item that was in for the letter I so we're gonna move on down to J and I have my Marc Jacobs highliner in blacker and I have progress on this too I do have progress I'm very excited these take forever to roll up and roll down I'm not going to bother I thought about it for a second but here's my progress line, right. Oh, right there. So that's my progress this past month and that's all I have left is what's down here. I'm getting there. For the letter K, I have my Mary Kay Liquid Illuminator. I was not working on this during the first month of the year, but since I started working on this foundation, I have been working on this as well. I like to mix the two, I only use like a tiny just just a dot of this I mean just the tiniest amount of this and I'm starting to realize that this product might take me two years to finish I mean there is just a massive amount of product in here but I am chipping away at it slowly and um, this is a very very illuminating product like it's glowy and so I don't want to over apply it I'm trying to be cautious but I am finally working on this. And I feel like maybe this little gap here, this little window peeking through here has expanded just a bit, but I could be wrong. That is the only sign of progress I have. And even that, I don't know. I don't even know if that's really a sign of progress. I can't see through this container at all to know how much product I actually have in here, but it's pretty full. All right, we are going to skip over L, M, and N. Those are all products that I haven't used really at all over the past month. L is my Laura Geller bronzer, M is my MAC Lightful C, and N is my Stravectin night oil. I might have used the night oil once or twice, but I can't see through that packaging at all anyways, and I don't think there's really any progress. So we're gonna skip down to the letter O, and for that I have my Pacifica Blood or Tuscan Blood Orange Body Butter. I use this as a hand cream and I am down to about here. I can, when I hold it up to my ring light, I can kind of see through it and I'm right about here. Um, so I'm, that's pretty good progress. I don't think I could finish this off in the next month and the humidity is coming back into my life again, thank goodness. I actually realized yesterday that the dehumidifier kicked down for the first time in like six months and we have so much moisture in the basement that we, the dehumidifier is actually running. So there is moisture coming back into the air, but I actually just applied some before I started filming because my hands were a little bit dry. So I will keep working on this, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish it off by next month. Unless I use it as a, an all over body butter and not just a hand cream. I don't know. I'm gonna skip over the letter P. That's my butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. I haven't worked on that in the past month. And we're gonna move down to Q. That is my Clinique Gentle Glow Face Powder. I haven't used this as much over the past month as I have in other months, but I think I did make some progress. I won't know until I take a peek at my picture from last month. I've been really focusing in on the loose powder from Makeup Forever that's in my Let's Get Loose project, but I have been using this. So we'll see if there's any progress to speak up. It is getting there. I think um, my spring break isn't for a couple weeks yet, but I think as soon as I get to spring break, there's going to be a lot of repressing going on. I could think of like six things that desperately need to be repressed, and this is one of them. 
For the letter R, I have my Revlon Photo Ready Primer. I know that this is not the right packaging, but I depotted it into this container after the product stopped pumping out of the container it was in. Um, I did use this quite a bit over the past month. It's getting, it's getting gone. It's almost there. We are making good progress. I think it's possible I could have this finished by next month. I'm not sure. I'm still working mostly on my purple um, primer from Becca, the First Light Priming Filter. So that's the main one I'm reaching for every day, but I do use this sometimes, and that project ends on April 15th, and once it does, this is going to become my everyday primer. I did measure it again, and it went down by six tenths of an ounce. I'm still measuring in ounces for this project, so it went down by six tenths of an ounce. So that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Hopefully this will be gone soon. Still here for today. For the letter S, I have my Butter London Glaze and Eye Gloss in Starlight. I have not had a chance to use that in the past month. For the letter T, I have my Tea Tree Oil Foot Soak, and I did make a new line on this. I did do one foot soak. We are down to here now. A Couple more months and this should be gone. Maybe, well, maybe three or four months. For the letter U, I have my Ulta Eyeliner Pencil, the double-ended one. I think I used it once in the past month and that's it, so I didn't pull it out to measure it because I'm guessing there's no progress, but I, th I think I did use it one time. For the letter V, I have my Vineyard Peach Body Butter from The Body Shop. I did use this quite a bit over the past month. I'm really close to hitting pan right up here. It's getting very thin. I think I can just about see the bottom of the container. And I think it'll get a little bit more interesting once that finally happens because there's not much to really look at from month to month if I don't hit pan. But I have been using this quite a bit. Um, it's either been one of these two every day. This one I've been using a little bit more, but when I feel like taking a break from that one, then I use this one. For the letter W, I have my Sweet Watermelon Lip Crayon from Neutrogena, and I was able to make a new mark on this as well. Here is my little itty bitty progress line. It's not much, but I'll take it. I've worn this maybe five times in the past month, not a whole lot, but I'm happy to have a new mark on my paper and I have been enjoying it. For the letter X, I have my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. It's still alive. It has not died yet, but I do have a pretty good progress mark that I was able to make this past month. We are down to just there. I'm very excited about that. I'm not gonna miss that when it's gone. I have, I'm, I'll be fine, I'll be okay. For the letter Y, I have my Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. Unfortunately, I didn't work on that at all in the past month because I was focusing exclusively on this CoverGirl lipstick as a cream blush. And finally, for the letter Z, I have my Laura Mercier Highlight in 01. And again, I focused exclusively on this Milani eyeshadow as a highlighter, so the Laura Mercier one was completely ignored. If I can get these two products out of my bathroom within the next month or two, it will all be worth it. And hopefully I will be able to focus in on the Maybelline Cream Blush and the Laura Mercier Highlighter much more specifically. I don't know what word I'm looking for. I don't think that's it, but that's the only one I could think of. Hopefully I'll be able to focus in on those two products much more once these two are out of the way. But for now, I really just want to get something out of my bathroom and into my low buy bank. So I've just been focusing on those two as cream blush and highlighter this past month. And that's going to, it's going to stay that way until they're gone because they are so close and it's getting really exciting. So that is everything. Hopefully I will have an empty or two next month. I don't know, we'll see. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic that there will be an empty or two. So that is everything for today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.